Hi guys and welcome. I am super excited to share with you this little project. So I recently saw a post that my friend V um, made and she created the sweetest little reindeer bows. They are so, so cute. They were inspired by Adriana Alvarez and um, this is what they look like. So this is one that I have already made. And so um, keeping with the Adriana inspiration, I recently saw that she wrapped some chain around a um, Halloween project that she did and I thought it would be so sweet to um, add that to these antlers and then just hang some wire wrap dangles and little um, bells off of it. So that's what I've done with this one. And then I have this one right here as well. I um, hung some little, um, these little charms right here on the side. So I didn't do um, any chain on this one. I just added this eyelet and hang, hung these little dangles from here. These beads are so pretty. They are the crackle beads from BB Crafts. And then um, all of this chain and lobster clasp and these jump rings you can also find at BB Craft and I'll link everything down below. So those are the two I've created. So B created, or V, I'm sorry, created this um, SVG. It's a free SVG cut file and I'll link that down below as well. Um, so the original size is way bigger than this. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna put this one together with you, but it is, as you can see, like much, much bigger than the ones that I made. I sized these down um, because I wanted them to be a little smaller, but for the video's sake, I went ahead and made it bigger so that it can be more visible so that you can see exactly what I am doing. So I'm using this chain that I got from BB Craft. It's a little kit and it comes with all the things that you need to make this, the jump rings, the lobster clasp, and of course um, the chains. And then I also am using these um, seed beads and I've used some of these gorgeous um, crackle glass beads also from BB Craft. Um, these as well are from BB Craft. I think they're so awesome because um, I didn't have anything like this and they are under $10. They're like $7, you guys. So for all three, it comes in a little kit. So anyway, I have all of that linked down below. Now let's get to the bow. So what I did is I did some stitching. This has two layers. So it has this top layer and then it has this bottom layer. Oh wow, I don't know what happened there. Um, and then it has this bottom layer. So, so that my paper wouldn't tear, I went ahead and did my stitching on two layers. So the bottom and the top. And then I cut out an extra bottom layer so that I can glue that on there and hide all that stitching. Um, and just reinforce that. So let me grab my glue and we're just gonna add some glue to this. And glue it on. When layering things like this, I love to use liquid glue because it gives you time to be able to wiggle it around and get it uh, lined up exactly the way you want it to be lined up. Let me tuck this thread in here. There you go. So I'm just going to run my little bone folder through this. And so now you have this nice clean black back layer and it also just gives it a little more structure and keeps it nice and sturdy. So 
so what I did with these, like I said, is um, I layered some chain on it. I just thought it would be so cute to have some chain on the antlers and some little beads. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. I've already pre-cut my chain and I added lobster clasp to both ends so that I can just um, wrap that and attach it wherever I decide to. So right here, I'm just going to attach it to here and that's how I'm going to start <coughs> excuse me and then I will just wrap around the antlers like so I think I did it this way let me see I don't remember how I did this oh there you go and then I come to the back and just open up that lobster clasp and attach it back here as well. This is hard for me because I have fat fingers. <laughs> and that's because I took off my, my nails so that it would be easier to do this. So you get the idea. You just kind of have to play with it, measure it based on the size of SVG that you're doing and um, and then you can wiggle it around and adjust it and have it however you need it to be, however long or however short. You can do it just on one side, you can do it on both sides. Then you'll glue your bow onto here. Um, and then I have some beads that I've already wire wrapped. I love these beads right here. Um, I love the colors. I think they're so cute. I love these seed beads too. You get like 4,000 in the box, you guys, and they are so sweet and so cute to add. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down, add a little pom-pom, and then just hang some dangles on there, and I will be right back to show you. So this is what I ended up with. I went ahead and added some teeny tiny pom-poms to it. I think it's so cute. I love the chain on it. That just adds a you know a different kind of texture and then you can add as many little charms and dangles as your heart desires i think it'd be cute to like add little jump rings along the way and little um little dangles to look like little ornaments all the way through um so i hope this inspires you to create some of these um to add some chain to your projects it is just such a brilliant idea as always Adriana Alvarez is so inspiring and we all are just so in love with her creativity and with the things she makes so thank you V so much for creating this this SVG file thank you Adriana for always sharing your gorgeous creations with us and always inspiring us and thank you guys for being here and watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.